Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of March the 19th through to the 25th. I went ahead and shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have the Two of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Two of Swords reversed. And next we have Major Arcana the Fool in reverse, followed by the Ace of Cups upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the High Priestess in the Upright. Okie dokie, I'm going to get to this interpretation. For your overall energy, Libra, you have that of the Two of Wands in the Upright position. This is all about making a plan. We're making a plan, we're formulating a plan in the Two of Wands. We've taken the initial wand from the Ace of Wands and we've now added another one to it. We've taken the, the initial project idea that excited us and we're building on that. But it's just in the beginning stages. We're sort of like on step two on our way to the Four of Wands where we have arrived. So you're in stage two right now, building towards something. You definitely have a plan. You have a plan of action. It's gonna be different for all of you because this is just a general read. Some of you, it's a plan for, towards moving towards a relationship. Others of you, it could be a plan to move towards a business uh, venture. For others of you, a plan to move across the country. <laughs> it's going to be different for all of you, right? But either way, you slice it, you're making a plan, and you're moving towards something, a goal. Coming into the week, you have the energies of the Two of Swords in the reverse position. Two of Swords upright, this is the indecisive card, um, which Libras are very familiar with uh, indecision. It's not knowing whether you're going to go this way or you're going to go that way. Sometimes it can represent um, having two choices, but you don't really like either one of the choices you have. That kind of energy. When it's inverted like this, though, um, we're coming out of the indecision and it's like we're making a decision. Um, made a decision on something. It could be that you found your clarity uh, in the Ace of Swords and you know exactly what it is you need to do now. You've made a decision and you know you're you're sort of set in your decision now. It's paired up with Major Arcana, the Fool in the reverse position. The Fool upright, this is all about new beginnings, taking a chance, a leap of faith, moving forward on something. Um, when it's inverted, though, this is a uh, lack of forward movement towards a specific situation. So it looks to me like, because it's paired with this two of swords, that perhaps your firm decision was to not take a leap of faith on something. Maybe you were going to um, move towards a certain situation or you were inclined towards a certain situation or an offer was there at hand and you have made your decision to bypass it. You have decided maybe this is a little bit too risky. This is risky energy upright um, although it's exciting it can be a little bit risky so it could be that you've made a decision to not uh, move towards something that you felt maybe is just or uh, evidence has come around that it's a little bit too risky for you to do that at this time so for others of you it could just be that you're not wanting to move ahead you just don't have the confidence to move ahead at this time so it's just a little bit of a stuck energy now, moving towards the weekend, the energies change up a bit. You have the Ace of Cups in the upright position. This is really nice energy. I do like the Ace of Cups. This represents emotions because that's what cups represent in the tarot. Um, so the Ace of Cups is new beginnings in, it could be love definitely for some of you, love and romance. For others of you, it could be representing um, something creative, just something you love to do. The, there's a an opportunity there and you may hear about it, it could come uh, out of the blue sometimes it's just something that you know comes around and you spot it right away and it makes your heart sing it's just really nice vibrant energy I love the well all the aces are really awesome because they represent new beginnings and new beginnings in love in this particular situation new beginnings in creativity or love so really nice energy here uh, Libra for the weekend and then it's paired with Major Arcana the High Priestess in the upright position. High Priestess is all about tapping into our 
inner knowledge. There's some hidden knowledge. The card represents hidden knowledge that's there, but we can access it. Only we can ac access it. Um, this is not about... Uh, it's it's sort of things that go on beneath the surface that you can't ask somebody else to explain it. You have to access that yourself, either through some self-analysis going within and uh, doing some meditation, that type of thing, or just listening to your gut on a matter, on a certain situation. It could be when this uh, offer comes through on the emotional front, on the love front, or what have you, maybe you're just going to tap into your intuition. You're just going to kind of know. You're just going to know that it's the right thing to do. For some of you, maybe this is, um, you've made up your mind to walk away from a former relationship and um, you did the right thing because you listened to your intuition and you knew something new was on the horizon. So it's going to be different for all of you, like I said. But I hope this reading helps you. It's a very nice reading, Libra. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can also find me on that new app, um, Instant Go, if you are an iPhone user. Uh, definitely hit me up there. Until next week, Libra, take care. Bye for now.